17th Congress is set to adjourn in just a few weeks, but the Department of Finance is still hoping that one more key measure will pass the legislative mill. To this end, they have revived a 90s icon to help boost their chances. Bim Santos has the story. A popular 90s icon is back, and it's none other than the iconic Yossi Kadiri. The finance department has revived the malevolent mascot with bloodshot eyes to spearhead its campaign to raise tobacco taxes anew. The DOF uploaded the ad on Facebook featuring no less than Senator Manny Pacquiao, who sponsored one of the proposals to raise sin taxes. The DOF wants to raise taxes on tobacco products as a health measure and to help fund the universal health care law. This is a package that will make sure that there is sustainable financing over time para po dun sa universal health care law. Pangalawa, gusto rin po natin ibaba ang incidents ng smoking. President Duterte signed Republic Act 11223 or the Universal Health Care Law last February. The law aims to give 100% health care coverage for Filipinos and is estimated to cost 257 billion pesos in its first year of implementation. The additional sin tax is meant to plug the funding shortfall. Pacquiao's proposal aims to increase the tobacco excise tax to 60 pesos from the current 32 pesos and 50 centavos per pack. This is estimated to raise at least 30.1 billion pesos a year. Senator Sherwin Gatchelian's proposal, meanwhile, wants to raise it to 70 pesos, while Senator J.B. Ejercito wants it at 90 per pack. Most consumers say they are okay with another tax increase. Oh, sa akin, okay lang. Kailan ka man? Oo. Kahit na maging 100, pataas mm -hmm. siya. Mm -hmm. Bibili pa rin ako. Mas okay yun para mababasan yung mga malakas mo yung gerilyo. Para mas mahal yun sa gerilyo. But an industry group says raising taxes may only encourage more illicit trade. The higher the price uh, because of tax in the domestic market, mas malaki ang incentive na papapasok ang mga illegal dito sa ating bansa sapagkat mas malaki ang kikitain nila. The unintended result of higher tax on cigarette is smuggling, is gray market. The finance department, however, is not deterred. We should not ever make uh, smuggling an excuse as not to pursue our health goals. There is just less than a month to go before the conclusion of the current Congress. But the UF says they're confident they could still make do with a brief window to push for the legislation. Will the knockout punch be dealt to the proposal or to Yose Kadiri? We may know in a few weeks. Bim Santos, we are One News.